I am a flap belly girl. I am a flap belly girl, and I'm gonna show the world. Hey. Can't do Booyaka! this on. Booyaka! Got stuck. <laughs> I was gonna say we can't do this on YouTube, but it's okay. You have other clothes on. I got these cute pants on too, guys. In this video, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna say I'm laughing at myself. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. In this video, I'm gonna share with you five things I did to get a flat belly in 30 days. What? The friends, after the holidays, I was feeling super bloated and carrying quite a bit of belly fat that I wanted to get rid of. But after years of trying to get a flat belly through hours of crunches and ab exercises, I learned that you can't spot train and you can't just lose belly fat. When you lose fat, you lose it all over. So I decided to make a few small changes and these changes not only helped me get a flat belly in 30 days, I also lost six pounds and I'm looking lean, but not mean. Whoa. So the first thing that I did was get into a calorie deficit by pulling back my calories only slightly because I've learned, I've lost 130 pounds and kept it off for seven years, and I've learned you don't wanna go too fast. You're gonna get too hungry, it's not gonna be sustainable. You don't wanna do any more than one to two pounds a week. I ended up losing about two pounds a week. Any more than that is way too fast, and it's not gonna stay off. You're probably not gonna be able to sustain it. So I went from a little over 1,900 calories to 1,800 calories a day. And if you wanna know exactly how to calculate the calories for you, we do have several videos on how to calculate the perfect calorie deficit. You can check those out. We may link one. Once I did that, uh, 1,800 calories a day, then the second thing I did was do consistent cardio. A lot of people think that ab exercises are gonna get you abs, which I did too for a long time. It's actually diet first, then the cardio that is getting me lean and getting me a flat stomach. So doing the cardio consistently, I decided to do an hour of steady state cardio six days a week. Um, I didn't start that way at the beginning of my weight loss journey, but for the 30 days, I did an hour, six days a week, low intensity, just either walking outside, just like a regular pace, or the recumbent bike that we have in our basement, just a normal pace, whatever I'm feeling that day, nothing fast, just like this. <laughs> and um, any like hit or anything like that, it might burn calories, but I'm not in shape enough or fit enough to do hit the way that you're supposed to, to burn the calories. So steady state for an hour works for me. You try not, basically both of us try not to stress our bodies too much in cardio. And the other thing is like, you wanna like it. You wanna look forward to it or at least wanna do it every day. And I don't like hit. I like doing a leisurely walk or going on the bike for an hour. So that's what I stick to. And the third thing that I did, include protein with every meal. The thing with protein, when I'm losing weight, well, when you lose weight, you lose muscle. So protein not only helps keep the muscle that you already have, it also lowers your hunger hormone, ghrelin. So it'll help you stay fuller longer, and that's important when you're eating in a calorie deficit because it's normal to be hungry because you're eating less than you're used to. And these are some of the favorite proteins that I'm eating currently. Protein powder, and this is the one that we use, it's by Huddled. I call it Huddled. Harder than last time. It's Greg Doucette's supplement company. If you want this protein powder, he's got a few new ones as well, like maple cookie and stuff. Chocolate donut. Chocolate donut just came out today. The link for the supplements is down below. Uh, some of my other favorite proteins right now are the 2% Greek yogurt, cottage cheese, I only got 1% because it's cheaper, otherwise I'd get two. 
some lean meats like Black Forest ham, and then in this container I've got lean ground beef. We like to cook it all up and then just weigh it out as we go through the week. And then some eggs. I've switched to whole eggs because I find they keep me fuller longer than the egg whites, and the fat is helping me also feel like more full and get healthier hair and skin and stuff. So then the next thing that I did, the fourth thing, water. Now before this, I was drinking way too much water and I found it was making me bloated. So what I decided to do is drink enough water to keep me hydrated, but not too much that I would be bloated. So before I was drinking six of these bottles a day, I went down to four. You wanna be hydrated because if you're not, your body sends you signals that it's hungry when it's actually thirsty. And the other thing is drinking water with meals helps you feel fuller quicker and stay fuller a little bit longer. So four of these bottles a day is what I'm currently drinking and that is a perfect thing to hydrate me, keep me fueled and, and keep my belly lean. Last thing. Choose, I choose satisfying foods with a wide mix of nutrients so that it helps me stay full, helps me, you know, stay healthy, get all the nutrients I need, but also keeps me satisfied and looking forward to what I'm eating because that's how I was able to stay on track and get the flat belly in 30 days by liking what I eat while eating in a calorie deficit. So you've seen some of the stuff that I'm eating in the protein section, but I'm gonna show you some other stuff like I've been eating lots of fruit, um, all kinds of different ones, pineapple, bananas, cantaloupe, strawberries, peaches, blueberries. Um, I eat regular bread, two slices every day, regular cheese. I've been having some low sodium bacon, some reduced salt butter, and I include a little treat every day. Um, this is Cocoa Pebbles, you guys probably seen it in our grocery haul. I've been putting a third cup of this on our anabolic ice cream, which we eat every day. It's made with fruit and protein powder. You want the recipes, we have some in our guilt-free cookbook, and Greg Doucette has some in his anabolic cookbook 2.0. Links for those are down below. This little topping keeps me satisfied, satisfies all my cravings, and it allows me to stay on track. And that, all of those things, not ab exercises, not spot training, have helped me. Like what you eat, eat a little bit less, consistent, stay consistent on your diet with cardio, and the body fat will come off and you'll notice that your stomach will get flatter. I'll just add a bonus tip because people have been asking lately, and this is actually directly relates to a flat belly. Mm -hmm. Why we eat like the plain white bread, we don't actually like the extra fiber bread or we've cut out you know oatmeal and some veggies and stuff because we found it just bloated us and it really was uncomfortable to digest. That's actually a really good point. We were eating a lot of veggies. We were eating popcorn, a lot of popcorn and oats and whole grain stuff and we realized that was actually making us really bloated too. So not only did we cut back on the water but like Kyle said we cut back on some of that stuff and it's really making a difference. So pay attention to your body and if you're noticing like too much fiber and too much water is bloating you, cut back a little bit and, and you'll probably notice. Like we always say, don't listen to anything we say. We're this idiots. is just <laughs> Yeah, we're we're not that smart. But we're just listening trial and error over, you know, seven plus years now, almost eight of dieting. Yeah. Yeah. This is what works for us. This is what we found through many, many failures um, is working for us right now. We are not doctors. We're just two people that lost a lot of weight and have kept it off for seven years. So don't listen to us. Consult your doctor first. Hope you enjoyed this video and my flat belly girl dance. And can you pick up your hoodie, please? No, it's got to stay to your fat because <laughs> I got to all right. Belly. Um, and now, if you want to know exactly what Sassy and I ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, because we have both lost 130 pounds and kept it off for seven years, the links for the books, weight loss books, we have two, they're down below, along with the guilt free cookbook I mentioned. All your favorite, no, low calorie versions of all your favorite foods, taste, lots of it, without the guilt and extra calories. And you can check out 
the cookbooks of Greg's and the supplements. All the links are down there. You can watch these two videos for free to make help you make weight loss easy AF or easy as a baby seal in French. Google it. And now we're gonna do well, lawn more and we'll pick this up because sassy gets sassy when it's on the floor. Lawn more like this. This is a beam. PG for you to shake it, shake it, shake it that your mama made it. <sighs> Love ya. Hope you enjoyed this. See you in the next one. I won't tell them that my side of the bedroom has like all clothes laying across the whole floor. Don't tell them that. Oh yeah, his side is messy, mine's clean. <laughs> That's why I bother you about that because my whole side of the room looks like that. Worse than that. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.